the world famous Christopher Guzmano. <laughs> No, just kidding. <laughs> Christian Guzman, I am so What's up, guys? freaking inspired it, by your giant place. It's been four or five years, right? Yeah, four dude. Or five. And bro, it, you know, it's, I was just thinking this before I came down to see you. It was Barbell Brigade was like pro, the first, really, of its sort of like YouTube gym sort of, you know, inspiration story. Yeah. That like honestly inspired so much of this, which is crazy. Yeah, but you now you shit all no, over no, it. <laughs> so now like we're going to shut down tomorrow because there's no, everyone should just move to Houston. You guys got parking banners. That's yeah, insane, I, I wanted to look like you know, like uh, the like the like yes, the Texas, park. yeah, the amusement park. And I want to do like a welcome to Alpha Land kind of deal, but the city said no to that one. So we just did the, the banners. You, you know, know it'd be tight if you hire one of those uh, planes that draw stuff in the sky. Yeah, and yeah. daily it just says welcome to Alpha Land. <laughs> that would be crazy. Yeah. I even wanted to paint Alpha Land like on the roof here, so in all the drone shots, Ooh. you know, that'd be cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> Next level, dude. Yeah, please give me a tour. I haven't yep, seen it in a long time. I'm so excited. So this is Alphaland. It's an 18 and a half acre um, lot. Ooh. And we have three gyms, retail store, kind of Alpha Eats and the whole deal. This is the entry here. Yeah. So you drive up, you have the banners and you have the parking lots on both sides. We have 236 parking spots and the old gym only had 18. So yeah. so like that, the parking was like a huge issue for yeah. all of the members and stuff. Yeah. So we wanted to like be sure we just went hard on it. And like we, we already have cars kind of parked in the back and stuff because I think we need more parking, which is crazy. Yeah, how long have you guys been open? It's crazy that like it's almost every space is filled already. So we've been open. Uh, we opened January first this year, so it's month four now. Yeah. Uh, we just finished like our first quarter officially, yeah. which is yeah. like awesome. Um, and yeah, it's yeah. We, we had two thousand members, so the membership isn't like crazy amounts. We had fourteen hundred or so before we moved here. Yeah. Um, so, but we have a lot of day passes, a lot of guests, um, and I think yeah, this is interesting because like majority comes from that instead yeah. of like the the memberships oh wow um, so you guys get membership or day passes like monthly year-round pretty much yeah like the day pass counts yeah. high the three day passes and just um yeah so that part then the you know the local people and yeah that That's is rad. rad what inspired you to like because i feel like you jumped like five steps you know it's not even like a next level scale it was like boom and i'm like because i remember seeing our plans online and i'm like whoa that's sick so what's funny is like this wasn't at all the intention. The intention was just to put Alpha Fleet headquarters and then the gym in the same building or the same like piece of land, you yeah. know? And so I was looking at building, you know, say like uh, just a two, like a two story kind of deal and yeah. have Alpha Fleet upstairs, yeah. maybe like a 50,000 square foot building or something like that. Yeah. But then uh, this property came like came up and it was just, it was way too big, 18 and a half acre. I don't need that, right? Yeah. But uh, the price was insane because the company oh, had gone bankrupt. Yeah. So it, it was idle for like four years already. I see. So, but you had to buy the whole property. You couldn't just buy a section of it. Yeah, yeah. So when we came, I, I like finally got convinced to come. And then, after doing the first tour, we came in through the front. And and once like I kind of saw the, after I left the first building and saw the fucking scale of it. Yeah, like the whole layout. It was like, got it. You know, yeah, it's like it just parking right lot, gym there. one, gym two. Yeah, like, Ooh. and I think when you walk it, you'll see like kind of you'll kind of see exactly what I mean. Cause like yeah. you have like the gym one is meant to be the the AC, the higher end, you know, new equipment, you know, brand new flooring, like kind of the, the all painted and, you know, nicely, nice yeah. fancy lights like and stuff. Like the premium gym experience. The, that's like the Equinox, the lifetime sort of deal. Yeah, with, I've never with heard the, those before, but yeah. Yeah, 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 we're going to talk about them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fancy bathrooms and stuff. And then gym two is kind of, it's meant to represent like the, all the old Alpha gyms, no AC. We have yeah. open bay doors, just like the hardcore, hardcore fucking, yeah. you can take your shirts off, do whatever the fuck you want kind of deal. And then gym three is actually um, about the same size as my first ever gym, which was 900 square feet. Yeah. So, so it's what's like the a, use for that. So that's a it's again outdoor sort of like just raw kind I of see. vibe. We put a posing room in there and everything, kind of painted some cool murals, and um, yeah. So each one kind of has its own vibe, you know. I see. Where do you go like if you have diarrhea? Uh, <laughs> you, you go in the first I, I go in my or? private bathroom upstairs. You know. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Lock all the fucking doors. Okay. Because <laughs> oh, I wonder if you're like you're in gym one, you're like. No, 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 this is too nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go to gym two. Gym two. <laughs> <laughs> so here's our entry. Uh, wow. We, we built this. These are all these mesh panels. Pretty they're much custom, we, huh? Yeah, well, they're, they're from McNichols. We would paint them black. And they went from like 300, $350 to $400 a sheet. And yeah. of course, with all the increase in pricing. Yeah. These are 1100 a sheet right now. Whoa. A fucking sheet. Wow. And I mean, you'll see all the retail, all the metal we have kind of here in the product. Like, it was a Because you pretty much like remodeled the facade of the building, right? We, we did, cut the whole guts out, redid all the inside. There was like 200 offices in this building before. Yeah. Uh, redid, yeah, I mean, 
there wasn't like an entry here. We made this whole entry. Wow. Um, and yeah, just kind of redid the, the layout, but Going this is inside. the retail store. Ooh. I talk a lot and I can't, I don't catch my breath. <laughs> now it's a big space. We're walking 18 <laughs> acres. Wow, it looks so dark when you come in from outside, but this yeah. is the, the Yao Fleet retail store here. First of its kind. It's sick. This is like a, like a store you would see like in Santa Monica or like on Rodeo Drive or something. Thank you, man. Yeah, Thank it's you. super nice. Here you go. Like, this is like the, we call this the octagon because it's yeah. like the focal kind of area, but yeah. you come through men, women, and then it kind of loops around like this. And it, honestly, the hardest part was also like figuring, or I guess like the time it took to figure, wow, we have no retail training. We have no staff. We have no like, that was all new, you know? So yeah. like, the, I think the stress of going and getting to opening was like, how the fuck are we gonna figure all that out? Because yeah. like, if you open, it's like so. How do you train? Big... How do you train retail? Like, how do you get all those operations up and running? So that that, that is currently still the hardest part. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Can I show you something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? What's up with this, dude? So this is a hologram no, 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 machine. This. I was so disappointed in you. I came in here and I was like, bro, what, Joe, what, this Joe. is like the nicest gym I've ever been to. Joe knows best. I'm like, what? What? What, what is that thing, dude? Come on, dude. God damn, Joe. Oh, let's just man. cut, let's just cut it. We don't need it. Oh, we should just leave. We should end the tour now. That's embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> no, but what is this? This thing. So this is, is a hologram crazy. machine. Um, pretty much I was trying to figure like what's gonna be the focal piece in like the retail to kind of like draw attention. Yeah. And uh, just for shits and you know, I was saying like hologram. And I found that a lot a lot of expos and companies like Rolex or even like automotive companies will use like this machine to kind of, you know, draw people in. Yeah. So I figured this would be fucking cool to do, you know? It's Freaking cool. It takes man. a long time to make those hoodies do that. Yeah. Oh, to even like create to the digital assets bro, and play yeah. in there, huh? Yeah, it's like a month's work for like a full time like dude. But um, yeah, it's super cool. This is sick. All right, what's going on go. over here? So here we have our legacy wall with the Welcome to Alpha and Oasis from Just Come. This is like said in the first intro video for the project. Yeah. Learn more, dream more, be more is our motto. It's like Can three you read lines. This in the Christian Guzman voice. Welcome to Alpha and an Oasis where individuals come to learn more, dream more, and be more. Coming together is our beginning. Working together is our progress, and staying together will be our success. Oh, Ooh, I had to good. do that so many times. That was good, man. <laughs> and then here, this is our uh, legacy wall. We have a timeline from like uh, very first YouTube video, and kind of like all the kind of highlight moments yeah. until opening. Um, wow. Little QR codes to take you to the YouTube videos, and then we That's have. Dope. Uh, let's see where the bar. There's a barbell brigade picture here, somewhere. But this is anyone who's been a part of the brand. There's Dana and Rob. Um, let's, let's see. Yeah, but every, anyone who's I been a part this. of the thing is here. From our like architects that are in Lebanon to just this whole this whole deal. That is so dope, man. That's so cool. I'd love to find the barbell one. Kelvin. There's me and Heidi in LA. Oh, Y'all are somewhere here, man. It's probably yeah. in there. Yeah, it, it 100% it's is. It's this somewhere. But. This and then you know, you know when you go to Paris and you like lock oh, the yeah. yeah so we had the same kind of I stole the idea you know take the yeah. outfit thing write your name on it and lock it onto the legacy wall so that's where what can you call get it. one of these uh, front desk yeah you we just should tell we them should. I want to sign and then yeah they're... that'd be sick yeah we do we do that's cool here you have the front desk uh, the retail desk so we definitely want to make like a showpiece on it and yeah. kind of so we designed out like uh, this whole thing in the background with the black glass and everything and everything's meant to lead you into that gym so it's, everything's kind of angular to lead you like that way what's what's on that side so here you have fitting oh, rooms dressing rooms yep dressing rooms well, we don't have to go all in there but yeah or, or unless like want to. yeah so it goes to dressing rooms and then the stock room so we can yeah. kind of pass the clothes through from the dressing when they try them on into here yeah and then we kind of you know restock here yeah there's our retail manager dana and then on this side we have all of our friends. So we got Max, who's our strips never forward, Buff Bunny Boutique, and we who's, have- Who's Buff Bunny? Uh, she's a, she's a <laughs> Heidi Summers. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> Is she pretty new? Yeah, she's pretty new. She's yeah, pretty new, yeah, huh? yeah. <laughs> She makes some leggings and stuff. This, that's beautiful too. Yeah, so this was like complete opposite vibe from like the dark to like the bright white. Yeah. And this is uh, her whole retail in here that we built. Yeah, it's beautiful in here. These that's ceilings sick. were a bitch to do. These ones? Oh yeah. So all, there was, the ceilings were like eight, eight and a half foot. And so we had to move so many of the like fire sprinklers and just like all of that to get everything lifted to go high enough. Oh, cause it's that like hanging ceiling Everything with all the pipe, I could touch, I could touch the pipes. Like, so we had to just redo all of it. Wow. And even to get, to get the lights this high. Yeah. Man, that probably, it's just like astronomical how much you end up spending with that kind of stuff. Did all, you already have a vision going in? Like you walked in and you're like, nope, we gotta bump this up. hundred percent. It had the vision, but I, I didn't know all the complexities and like, roadblocks to get the vision that I wanted. Yeah. And yeah, that was the, that, that was just like the, 
the learning process, you know. Was there ever a point where like the contractor or whatever was like, no, you can't do that, and you're like, no, we have to figure out a way to get it done? There was, so pretty much we started with a contractor that did all the demo. Yeah. It ended up costing $500,000 just to demo out some fucking walls. Because it changed, and that was like a super, you know, big company, and then yeah. let them go, because it was just, it, it wasn't, she I was like. me, I would come with the hammer. <laughs> right, I did, yeah. I, I was going through the rooms and hammering myself, yeah. I was like, fuck you, get out of here. But then the build process, I found, uh, I found Anthony, who is a independent contractor, and he has like a small team, and yeah. then that team, he had the mentality of, if, if we want it done, these are the robots, but we can get it done. But I here see. are the robots. You, if you want it done, we will get it done. Yeah. So that's the mentality I want. I like that, yeah. yeah 100%. I, always, I, always, I don't like dead ends. Yeah, if you I tell like, me it can't get done, yeah. tell me how it can get done. Yeah, yeah. You can you always I mean? go, you can dig under, you can fly you over. You can There's find a way. A way. There's yeah, always 100%. a way. 100%. So that mentality just made everything, fit, like that really made it possible. So what's Inaka again? Never heard of it. So either. Inaka is Shali Coker. You're know Shali, right? Shali Coker? Shali? Uh, Shali's my, so these are the, he's like my high school friend, played basketball together growing up. Oh, okay. And he launched Inaka, which is like blowing the fuck up right now. He's Asian, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. He's a black Asian. Okay, black Asian. Got it. <laughs> yeah, I've seen everyone rocking a knockout. Everyone's sick. rocking. He's killing it, man. Yeah. So we did this for him here. He's got some subs coming out soon. That's dope, man. Shout yeah. out to Shali. He's crushing it, He's too. crushing it, man. Yeah. Uh, sour Strips, 3D, Ever Forward. Pretty much all the, you know. All the homies. All the homies. We need a spot for the for Barbell, man. Yeah. Over here. Maybe, maybe, maybe down here. Down here and here. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, you work with Ozarka, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full, full sponsorship, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Here we have the gym entrance, so okay. you can either go straight into gym number one down this like cool hallway, yeah. or, or oh, what's up, brother? Man. I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, 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 yeah of course, let's do it. Let's do it. I used to watch your shit back on JK News, bro. Oh, thank like, you, man. Years ago, thank man. Like, you, ten thank years you. Ago. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. I was just wondering. Thanks, man. We're old as fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got your old ass merch too. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt you, though. No worries, respect, man. Respect, respect. Thank you, brother. No so when you kind of turn this hallway, you can either hit the gym one or you can come into the lounge, which is here. So we've just got like tables set up, these work tables with power. Um, What's the inspiration behind like the lounge? Instead? Literally like, you know, the, okay, the WeWork concept of yeah. like, okay, it's common spaces to come work, chill. Kind of taking that, taking the whole like cafeteria idea and like putting her own spin because my mom's a, she's a chef. Yeah. And she would do, she'd work from the house and go deliver sandwiches and all the food. So she's always wanted a kitchen. So we were able to get a kitchen built for her and yeah. just like kind of this place is pretty much made for the imagine the 18 19 year old you or me yeah right the, that kid that's like that's like that's working that's trying to you know make that's trying to put an environment or go to an environment that they can sort of hang out all day yeah be in the gym they can come and you know be do whatever they need to do get that energy eat out 100 come to the Hold patio shower yeah yeah 100 yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so these are the work tables uh alfie's are here so all of these are your custom mom's recipes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this protein shake, it's delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's the summer shredding one. Is that the summer shredding or the PBB? The PBB. Yeah, fucking yeah, delicious. Yeah, I asked them, I was like, which one do you recommend? Yeah. I'm never coming back ever again. Yeah. And she said this one. I was you like, You gotta get right. chicken quesadilla before you go home. Oh, it's oh really good? Oh my God, yeah. It's, it's not like just, it's not only the summer shredding menu is like the healthy food. Yeah. The other menus, oh, in the lemon cake, the best. All of them are all are, of our moms. Are yeah. At macro friendly or some of them. No, are... only the summer shredding menu is macro friendly. <laughs> okay, <exactly. laughs> yeah. The other ones are just straight delicious. One hundred percent. Okay. Cool. So you have patio outside, which like loops out to the gyms and stuff. Yeah. Uh, which no one's using right now, but it's alright. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, yeah, we can. How do you pick out like chandeliers and stuff like this? Like, how Man. do you know that's it? Well, I, I obsessively spent a lot of time, like. like too much time shop, just like looking online, Thinking looking, turning catalog. every fucking, like wow. looking at everything. And uh, ended up like Restoration Hardware is like my favorite one. So yeah. pretty much like everything in here is Restoration Hardware. It, Building either, either something har this size, are you able to get some sort of like the client kind of discount? Yes, and I didn't know that until after about a year of purchasing stuff. Oh. And you can get designers, you know, to come in and help you. Didn't yeah. know that either. Oh. <laughs> Where I literally just like wanted to smash my head when I found that out. <laughs> like, I mean, you're telling me, I could have given you floor. But I did, I did it myself, for, yeah. and, and so, yeah, it was uh, a lot of a lot of going back and forth. A lot of it, it, it helped me become more decisive, though. Like the whole process of this building, if I could put one thing, it got me more decisive, yeah. right? Because it, I just couldn't keep wasting time. You yeah. Know? So yeah. Uh, well, now when you build like Alpha Airlines, you know exactly <laughs> we, what to we do. Have, we have the floors and all that kind of. Yeah, deal. but you get the designers come, put in the nice chairs. Yeah, a hundred percent. Now we can go down here at Gym One. So what made you want to have like a blue tunnel? So it, it all it changes colors. I think right now there's keep, keep the blue one, but 
It, it can like flow colors. You can go to the beat of the music and stuff like that, oh. which is pretty cool. So you wanted like a club environment? Yeah. It, it, it kind of I call it tunnel vision. Kind of tunnel vision. You come in here and the music kind of gets louder as you're coming, oh, and you I kind like of that. feel like this like into gym one. Yeah, I you know? feel like goosebumps. Yeah, it, it, the goosebumps. Yeah. <laughs> So here we have trainers, restrooms that way. So that's not the diarrhea one. No, no, no. Diarrhea no, that's not that's gym two. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> here you have gym one. So this is kind of the uh, the higher end bougie sort of feeling gym. Yeah. Black turf in the back. We have a predator satisfied fonts and the, the windows and everything. Is that uh, space upstairs too? All cardio and stuff. Yeah, we can go up there real quick. We have our studio in here for like spin classes and all that kind of stuff. That's cool. And who's this guy? You know who he is? No, I don't it's know who that is. <laughs> we'll go up here real quick. So my office is right over there with the window. Oh, so cool. I, I just spy on people all day. So you have your office inside the gym? Well, so, so the gym, like, the cool Landed thing about like the that? building, yeah, so like everything past that door, which no one can go through that door, yeah. we have a second entry on property, which is the other road. Yeah. So you come there, and that's how all corporate gets in, I which see. all corporate works upstairs. Cor corporate. Yeah, <laughs> corporate. Yeah. No, it is corporate, though, yeah. We, we all work upstairs, and then the gym is like the side entrance. So it's two buildings in one, pretty much, two businesses in one. And you, you liked having uh, your office be like right here, like right. Fucking love it. Yeah, yeah. I, I was, if you don't mind, I'd love to show you. Of kind course, of, yeah, it's right there, yeah. Actually, we'll go on the on the way, other way because I don't have a key to there. I see. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good security. Yeah. This is cardio area here, uh, kind of overlooking Selena. And then, um, yeah, we have a bunch of new equipment coming in at the end of the month. So we're going to be redoing. Man, the gym layouts. You can never have the gym layout correct, right? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. always a work in progress. Yeah, always. We have our sales office over there, which is a two-way mirror, so no one can see in. Oh. So they just have a great time laughing at everybody. That's <laughs> hey, well, what's up, guys? Give you a quick look at the studio real quick. A little peek in here. There ain't no class in progress. What the hell? Yeah, I know. <laughs> what the hell? This is cool. You got a spin class area? Yeah, some spin classes just finished and then uh yeah. So then, you have like uh, personal training here? You have yeah. classes and stuff we, too? We, had, we only had four trainers when we came from the last gym to here. Now we yeah. have 22. Wow. Which is, it, it's just been like, we had, we had, you know, the manager that was there at the last, he just like, I made a story and just people are like coming, man. Like the people go like, I want to look like Christian. And then they go, yeah, sign up. <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe they do. <laughs> I have no idea. But yeah, there's this. It's really hot in the gym. Yeah, it's nice hot and cool in there. Hot as fuck in here. That means they're working hard. <laughs> I kind of like it a little bit warm. Yeah, yeah. Then it kind of gets you like gets you going, you know. Yeah. When it's too like cool, it feels relaxing, and I just want to relax. So, so this is the the whole you, right when you hit that corner and you like turn into that hallway. It's yeah. a straight like you can see all the way to the end of gym two. Yeah. With like the same line of sight, so that's kind of like the cool sort of like just go down the hall and you'll you know gym one, gym two, and then gym three and the, and then and the straight. And you like it like that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, brother? How are you? We have these ramps out here, which were we just turfed out did like you, yesterday. Did you build this like yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this a common thing in Texas? Because I haven't really seen this anywhere else. Uh, you know, when I started training, there were three ramps that, yeah. like, when I was like 15. Yeah. And um, we had it. We had one in our last gym, and so from the last gym, we kind of wanted to instead of just one ramp doing you know three levels to it. That's the steepest. So, yeah. It's That's <laughs> it. Yeah. It's almost done. With, I don't think we'd order enough turf. Now it's probably another five months to get that last little strip. But what what does it burn the most? Or your butt? Uh, glutes. Well, every. I mean, I, I don't Ham go streams. up it. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so here's gym two, which is the uh, the old school old school vibe, just raw open bay doors, wind in yeah. your hair kind of deal. Yeah, that's why. Music's I way louder. Yeah, like, I like it. Yeah, it's a vibe. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. It feels hype. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're trying to walk through and you start lifting yourself. <laughs> we have dumbbells up to 200 pounds on this uh, side. Mobility room is over here. I mean, two courts for the people that suck and I can't get picked up on the games that we can go play over there. You know? Yeah, that's me over there. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> me team. <laughs> so like I'm super into like branding and stuff. Yeah. And I noticed how like that volume is like two times as loud as yeah. the other one. Yeah. 
do you even like specify decibels to like? So I, I, I definitely, I, I like the gym one to be about 70% of what gym two would be, but yeah. honestly, gym two is a little too loud right now. That is, uh, that is to go down a tad bit. Yeah. So that was hurting. So if you're a general manager, you'd be like, nope, 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 gotta bring it down a notch. A little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're still, cool. we're still kind of sorting all those like little details out. What sold me on this property, man, is as soon as coming out here, yeah. where that bat, like you, I kind of saw like the size of this. Yeah. And it was like, you know, this could be a, a really cool space just to be able to, you know. Just do whatever. Do whatever, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Basketball, football, workout. You could have like your own fitness convention here. Yeah. You know, like just have like yeah. people booth in, just like some crazy festival. Food, food trucks, food, concerts, whatever yeah, here, giant you know. DJ just yep. going. Yep. Is that grass yours too? Yeah, yeah. So Holy. all the way to the fence, and then all the way to the fence down there. Yeah. Uh, and then all, we have the front building as well, which we just demoed out, and we're gonna. It's it's like so much space. Woo. Yeah. It's a hundred. Property tax. It's a hundred and ten thousand a month for fucking just like, like just a property. Just rent. Oh shit. Damn. Yeah. Imagine twenty. Tw uh, yeah. I don't care. You can post. I don't care. Honestly, you, you can do. It. It's that's the that's just like the baseline. So you can imagine like two years. Not like on top of it, on top of actually spending, right? Yeah, so, so yeah. like that's just to so have the fucking property. So it's like that shit. It, it shit. That was a stressful. To, it was, it was a stressful Jesus. too. It was a cash. Just like, it was going out. Yeah, burning that shit. And the, the wow. longer it took. So and on top of Alfleet, obviously like projecting the growth. It was yeah. stressful times, man, for sure. But, and running the clothing and the and, and the clothing with the growth you're trying to hit. It's like you're fucking depositing, you know, two x what you were this year. It's it's yeah. yeah it was uh yeah. Lots of learning lessons. God but we're damn. still here. We're still here. You know. I know. That's crazy. <laughs> so here's gym three. Uh, we paint, custom painted the Arnold. For, you remember oh. Simply Shredded website? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The Conquer. Yeah. So we wanted to put, do that one. Yeah. That's Muhammad cool. Ali with Proud Never Satisfied. Alfleet. We have a posing room in there. And uh, yeah, this is like, this is bigger than my first shit. This is about the first barbell kind of size, right? The first right? one, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's right, we've really, I feel, what's, what year did you start? 20, I started 2013. in 2013. 13. I October. think I started right, I started like right after you, I think, in the first like ones. And we're kind of the only ones doing it, you know, at yeah. that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, cool, is, this is crazy, it's though. Crazy, man. That's a football field. We had to turn, we had to do all this work just to get the level, because it used to be like this. Yeah. So just to like, it was, we had to cut down 14 inches and do all this stuff, get all, it was, wow. it's just a. Let's go yeah. check out the yeah, corporate let's go office. Yeah, check it out, let's go. You guys are so fine. You're good, you're good. Oh my gosh. This guy keeps good, hiring, man. this guy keeps hiring these actors to come to make them look famous. He keeps hiring these paid actors to come like, like, they're really good at acting too, because some of them are almost like borderline like emotional, and like, oh, you really changed my life and doing all this stuff. And I'm like, why, why you gotta do that specifically on the day I'm coming? You know what I mean? Don't you think that's weird? It's very weird. Cause like, you didn't hire any actors and nobody comes up to you, you know? No one ever comes up to me, so that's, that's I know that's fake. I already know that's fake. See, look, dude, he's, uh, look more. Look more. Look at that. She's not even wearing shoes. Dude. This is uh, Bart Kwan from Barbell Brigade. Yeah? Yeah? yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> what happened? Oh yeah. Right there. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Right here. We even got search taken in. Let's see. What is this? A secret passageway? <laughs> Pretty much. Wow. <laughs> Only Christian knows the secret passageway. Thank you. Right, so here we have an office space here. This is my office wow. here. Ooh, dang. Just still need to get my you know desk and stuff like that, but. They make couches in circles? <laughs> they, yeah, they do. It's not really functional, to be honest. Really? <laughs> yeah, well, I don't, have any, I don't have any big meetings like this. Just kind of sit on the chairs. And if you have to take a nap, you have to kind of curve your body <laughs> <Yeah>. up. <laughs> it's not good for your back, you know? But uh, yeah, I have a cool view of the parking lot, kind of everyone coming in. So this is like Alpha Elite Corporate here. Yeah, this is Alpha Elite Corporate. And then we have like the, the old gym sign that was on the last location. Yeah. Kind of on your way out, you know? It's, yeah. You're kind of reminded of it. Yeah, like a little homage to it. Mm -hmm. Did you have to put uh, like special sound deadening yeah. material? Because it's oh, actually yeah. like pretty quiet. Yeah, and, and there's actually, so that's where I do most of my work actually in the next room. Yeah. But yeah, this is kind of cool view of the gym. Nabil works in like the soundproof room over there. And then um, we've got this. This is like where I spend all the time in here. And because uh, pretty much there's so many. 
it's so, it's so distracting, man. Just yeah. Because this is kind of the actual where I actually like get the work done. I just close both doors and like no one can come in either way. And then this is uh. That's the cl the cloud couch. This is, yeah, I fucking love yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. The life changing. Cloud couch from Restoration Hardware. Life changing. This is like. You could pretty much live in here too, I, huh? Yeah, yeah. I try. I I think in total I've only slept on camp, like on site, and if I wasn't working like three three nights out of like two two years, yeah. That's not. I really try to go home if I'm gonna sleep. Yeah. But like you could, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's comfortable enough. Is that time. how you designed it? Just in case, like you got to work around the clock to yeah, stay here. Yeah, yeah. Just just in. I just I like to have kind of you were saying. Every, I have food, my fridges. Got my bathroom right here behind me. My I built you need a the closet. seat where you could just straight like shit right <laughs> shit <into> right here. <laughs> I got my closet here. With like these are all like put together, have the you know wow. put together outfits of everything like releasing. Yeah. So I can just like not really have to think about it. Just like you know, I grab boom or I grab like whatever. Just already have it done. You know. And just go shoot. And just yeah, and anything I pick is like in stock, ready to promote kind of deal. So I just don't have to worry about it. You know. Yeah. And then um, we have this. Sorry, I you got a washing shit machine everywhere. in here too. We we have one across the hall. Yeah. Wow. It's fresh from here. That's sick, man. See, so you got to move that in front of the desk. Yeah. And <laughs> Good to go. Yeah, this is this is like a uh, luxury it's a, Vegas it's a, it's a hotel. Bachelor pad, man. Yeah. yeah. If I were a bachelor, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take you guys to the to the athlete lounge. Here. So this is like that door where the cardio is. Yeah. Here. So you're right there. Oh, I see. There and then this is the athlete lounge. So we pretty much have this like app where you just go. Wow. It, we give access to, to the athletes here, so when they come in town, they can just have somewhere to come and like you know actually yeah. have. Yeah. Dang, this is nice too. Holy moly! So this is like private. Yeah, this is private. And you got a straight up bar. Like, who makes the drinks? I mean, <laughs> you do? Yeah. <laughs> Make shitty ass drinks, but we have the. Who actually the, kicks it in here, like maybe so, on the weekly? So, on the weekly is all that, all the local athletes. Everyone, it's athletes and their plus ones. Mm -hmm. So, they can bring whoever they want, um, just one person. And then they, I mean, you'll, you'll have people posted up, taking calls, you know, playing games. I don't know whether they're moving all this stuff here, but we got like a little arcade. And like anytime we want to have, we like bring athletes in town, we kind of yeah. like send a call out, hey, all, everyone who's like local. We have some people in town, y'all want to come just like hang out, kind of bond, and we don't have to fucking go out anywhere. We don't yeah. have to go by tables, we don't have to do any of that. Yeah. It's just like, come to Alphaland, after workouts, I'll kick it, you know? Yeah. And just kind of come in here and, you know, chill. So it's. That's cool. Did you have like this vision when you were building it, or was it as you're like touring the space, you're like, like, like the, the space was inspiring your well, thoughts. Well, pretty that space was inspiring the thoughts because yeah. I knew I like man I, I I didn't need that much office. Yeah. Right. I was like man, that's already so much office space. Like it's just overkill. So the only way to, for me to justify the space, and to justify the purchase was okay. This is five thousand square feet. Maybe I can do that for like the athletes, like a lounge. Mm. And then downstairs, maybe I can maybe I can get Shali to rent some out. So Anaka rents out like. 33,000 square feet downstairs. Yeah. And I can rent some to Max downstairs and kind of let them do their own builds. Yeah. So Max has space, Shali has space. We have this big room here. We have a huge design room, huge customer service to kind of like to be able to fill out, you know, and to use all the space. So, yeah. Yeah. That was, uh, it kind of happened as it happened, you know. Which, which parts of these were the funnest? Uh, what, what obviously, do you mean? I think when you're building a gym, right, especially since we've built multiple of them already, um, they're more functional based. And I would so say sometimes like novelty. This room is fun as shit. This like, one, right? Like actually making, like, you can't, I can't tell you how many times I would put the fucking basketball machine in my cart. Yeah. I was like, I this isn't fucking important. Yeah. In big space, like I need to, put, but I just said, you know what? I think it'll be worth it with the marketing. Like, like I need to give that experience. So just, or, you know, I just committed to this stuff. When, yeah. You'll notice that in my office, I don't even have a desk. I yeah. don't even have, I just kind of wanted this to be the place to the go. place to be and like the way I think the way to achieve long-term marketing to like remove myself which is a goal eventually yeah is would be let me build somewhere for other people right mm. so that was kind of like the 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 focus would be this would be the gym it would be like all the alpha just like the 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 vibe you know yeah that's yeah. freaking sick we got this oh you got the those white people games too yeah it was funny because Max <laughs> bought this for me <laughs> <laughs> that's funny shout out to Max dude <laughs> Here we got a so here we're putting a uh, like a warp wall, and we're doing a studio. Oh yeah, they already started. So 
So we're building a studio for wow. just that, so the athletes can come and film yeah. their try on halls and stuff like yeah. that. And just like get content. I haven't even seen this, it's brand new. I haven't seen this. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna put lights and just let them like film that way. Put a little subtle athlete word mark in there so mm -hmm. you know, they can't do other brands because it's becoming a thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's warm as shit in here too. That's cool. My AC's broken, 50K. <laughs> I know, right? God. If you have restroom and shower for them in there. View of the patio over here. Do you ever go like, holy moly, like while you're building this, you get inspired or like, I should put this in my house. Yeah, I wish I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, or, but also a lot of like entrepreneurs or people that are hustlers, yeah. their house isn't even really that important, you know? They're yeah. like, I just need a place to like, Sleep, yep. and I really want to build the world out there. Is that how you how you envision uh, everything? Like, like, I mean, I, I literally put myself in the shack for two and a half years, and I, and I, and I would do it again. I like, it, it's like I just want to, and even like, I, I, I kind of joked about it. If, I think if you're if you have a shit ton, if you're not reinvesting into building a bigger picture, like, what are you really doing? You know? Mm -hmm. And so that, yeah, I'm, it's all for the future, and for really just to keep keep it moving. You know? Yeah. I enjoy it though. I enjoy it, but I enjoy making videos a lot more. <laughs> so like at the heart of it, like yeah. I'm, I'm kind of trying to set all this up so it can become more automated, yeah. so I can go back to doing what more I like content. exactly. Yeah. Here we have like our studio in here. Ooh. So we do most of our shoot. Oh my bad, oh, Josh. Yeah, <laughs> my bad. This guy just whispered in my ear. <laughs> Damn, the ghost of Alpha Lab. <laughs> oh jeez. So here's like our studio. We do product photos here, other shoots here. You, you and Max got something going on with sand, huh? I, I visited <laughs> Sour Strips. He has sand going on. You got. You guys like sand or what? What's the secret? I gotta take bar picture of barbell stuff with sand? Yeah, I think we should have cover ourselves in sand, to be honest. I That's how a, you make it, huh? It's a new thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's really warm in the building, isn't it? So this is the studio that's- Always used. That's being used, and then you're, those are more studios you're building? Yeah, well, well, we didn't want all the athletes like moving any of the lights and stuff or product, you know what I mean? So yeah. like, that's a way for them to still encourage it, Yeah. but just to have it separate, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then we have customer service, which is like a big room there. Our design rooms in here, big room. Everything's kind of big room, and we have perimeter smaller offices. When you're building this, because this is such a huge project, mm -hmm. like, what were the drafts that you that you saw? Did you see blueprints first, and then digital renderings, <laughs> no. or no? So, so pretty much like the the initial like local architect I hired. Yeah. Like, there's just no. There's, there were way too many things along the way to like use him. So we yeah. actually, uh, I used Fit Design, who's like my, my designer for Alfleet, main, yeah. main, med, uh, main designer. He has an architect history, right? So that's where he like got his degree and all that stuff. And so we would literally do Zoom calls for fucking like six, seven hours and just work and test and like make adjustments. Let me see, like in the, I, he's screen share on Zoom. I'd be watching his like CAD and we'd literally be like, mm, let's move that wall. Let's try this, let's do that, let's do that until we got to this. And then wow. luckily, like we had all that when Anth when I when we brought Anthony in, so it kind of yeah it took a long it, it would have been great if I had exactly what I wanted before I even bought the property yeah it's more like I bought the property and then I had to figure out what the fuck I wanted wow right so that's why it, there was so many just like with the yeah. renderings like you know sometimes whatever you see you're, in real life it doesn't match up sometimes oh, it's better it, well what's crazy the renderings really came after the, like, we were already building right wow so it, it was and it was more more so for the marketing purposes. But just like getting the renderings to actually look like what they were looking like in person. Yeah. I mean, I'm taking photos, you know, boom, boom, at 4 a.m. outside, like, boom, 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 just trying to get those renderings, like, you know, on point. So it's, it's crazy, man. That's crazy. I hope I don't have to do that again, <laughs> that again to be honest. No, but you said proud, never satisfied. That's what you yeah. said. <laughs> so I got to keep doing it. Yeah, you, this is, this, you got to start building tomorrow. Like, <laughs> So here, this is like the corner offices, and then this oh. is the corporate entrance on the side. Oh, okay. So like Max's place is right down here. I see. So everyone comes in here, and then to go Alpha, you come up the staircase on this side. That's sick. And that building over there, we, we were gonna do like a like a, a hotel, pretty much all the get, but but yeah. man, too much of a hassle. So we're just gonna do like a, I don't know what I'm gonna do, rent it out. So would you <laughs> Would you do a hotel? I wanted to, and we built it out. It had 12 rooms and, and wow. showers, were, all this stuff, but we yeah. just kept running into like, mo like just like money pits, and money pits, and money. So yeah. I just said, I just got it. I'll be like, it. either I'll do this big studio or, or like media area, or I'll do. Or I'll rent it out or something. So yeah. right now we're trying to. Do you think that that's something you would revisit maybe in a year? Or two? Oh yeah, I definitely want to rent it out. And I see. Yeah, more like spaces like Max and Charlie where we can just like get companies in and like you know sign 
three to or three five year deals and you know have that role. Yeah, yeah. Just so the property needs to start generating stable income. Like that's that's the next step of it. Yeah. You know. But instead of me just like taking more space and taking more space and use, using it for ourselves, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. no, nah, let's it get a little smarter. It just keeps burning money. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's it, man. Yes, have you seen the front down here? Uh, no, let's see it. Yeah, I we can wrap the, the tour yeah. up there. How did you know to pick this thing? Man. <laughs> just so, shopping, uh, just looking at shopping, stuff? Yeah, and then this one was... It, it seemed a lot like it, I mean I knew it'd be fucking huge, but I, I didn't realize how much of a pain it would be to actually get this up. <laughs> so oh, yeah, we had there was like a that. bunch of demo we had to do to the actual roof structural yeah. changes we had to make to hold it. Yeah. So like this this shit ended up you know, it cost me probably five to six x what I thought it was. Was this staircase here? Or you built this? Yeah, too? it was here. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. What what building was this before? It was an oil building. Like oh. they, they would do like geo uh, physical like digging into the ground with these big trucks and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm um, definitely not like this, but so this is yeah. the it's the main entry here. The main entrance, yeah. huh? Yeah. That's Dang. it. I mean, this was, this is a good start. It's pretty cute. <laughs> it's yeah. got potential. Yeah, it's got potential. <laughs> I, I could definitely see like you do it at least ten times bigger than this. <laughs> no, this is super inspiring, man. Like you. you know, we've both been on YouTube for a long time, yeah. And just seeing you like scale, 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 and take something to this big, where I feel like I don't even know if I've seen like global gyms take it to this size, you know? Thank so I feel like this is like really, really next level. This is like Elon Musk of fitness level, you know? Which thank is you. fucking sick, dude. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate that. Thank bro. you, thank you, man. And thanks for coming down, bro. Yeah, so like if, uh, if people wanna like help support because you probably need all the money in the world, <laughs> and where can they come find your stuff, you know? Uh, Add a couple, like a so hundred bucks to the- Debbie, income. man, donations are- <laughs> yeah. We're doing uh, every other day uploads on YouTube. That's the number way to support is just by subscribing and checking a video out. Or just check a video out if you want to subscribe, if you like it, then subscribe, that would mean the world. Yeah, he's just starting out, so if you guys could help him, hook him up, you know, maybe buy a couple of things, it would really help him out. <laughs> See you guys next time. Peace.